Welcome to your introduction to DataTel. During orientation, we would like to be sure you are covering all bases with students. Below are a series of videos to help guide you through DataTel. Let's look at student Tina Cruz. Since we are in the test database, we cannot type in the student's name. We will use the stack screen initially to find out what courses she's taken. I need to enter her ID. And that can be her student ID or her social security number if she doesn't know her student ID. So we see that Tina Cruz has taken previously several classes or received non-course credit for them. This is the column indicated by STAT. NC, non-course credit, she's placed out of those on the placement test. Notice that there's multiple screens or pages for this student in the STAT screen. Let's see what else she's taken. It appears that in spring 1998, she signed up for a business law class, but that didn't work out too well for her. The far column on the right-hand side are the grades for the semester. Let's see some other statuses there might be. An X, as indicated here, means she changed her mind before registration closed. And we can see here that she had a continuing education course versus all of these other ones which are curriculum level courses. So this is the stack screen for Ms. Cruz indicating all of the courses that she's taken so far. When we're done looking at the stack screen we hit cancel and then cancel again. If we want to change to another screen we need to hit finish and then come up here to the top of the data tell screen whoops and type in the next command let's see what she did on her test scores that's indicated by t sum now here's a shortcut instead of typing in her name or id again if you're still looking at the same person you can hit the shift and the at key and then enter and that will pull up the same student you were previously looking at it appears that she's only taken three tests, one, two, and three, the compass writing. It does not indicate that it's multi-page. However, when you move your cursor and click in one of the boxes, any one, you will see that there are, in fact, four screens worth of information for Ms. Cruz regarding her testing. Would these test scores still be valid? The last time she took them, 7, 15, 11. And recall now that test scores are good for three years, so she would still have valid test scores for her writing. And let's see what else she's done. She's taken the reading three times as well. And then she has a series of math scores, both pre-algebra and algebra. So which ones do you use? First, we always use the highest score possible. We start with that, and so we're going to look at her algebra score of 35. According to your testing placement guide, a score of 35 says we need to use her pre-algebra score to correctly place her. So let's move back a screen and look at her pre-algebra scores and take the highest one there. That's a score of 74, which again, according to the testing placement guide, would put her into Math 70. Math 70 consists of modules DMA 10, DMA 40, and DMA 50. Hence, this student would need a three-credit shell. Back in July of 2011, a student was allowed to take a placement test twice, even on the same day or a few days apart, and they were not required to do the compass review in between testing. That's no longer true and a student must take the compass review before testing again. Okay, so let's exit her testing scores. Remember we hit cancel and then cancel again and finish to completely take us out of the T-SUM screen. Let's see what her program of study is and what is active and we can do that by the mnemonic SACP student academic program. Again, remember that shortcut, shift at, 
will take us back to the same student. We see that she has several programs here, A indicating active. We'll just click the first one and open. And this will show us her program of study and the catalog year that she is following. So she is following the 2012 catalog year. A student can never follow a degree plan in a catalog prior to their start date. However, when it's beneficial to the student, they can complete a program change form in order to follow a degree plan for a subsequent year. So let's get out of this academic program screen. Remember, we have to actually say finish to get completely out of it. And let's determine what she has left to finish. Pull the same student up. Let's look at the current program that she's in, Hotel and Restaurant Management. What we need to do is click the button that says Save and then Update. Give it a second to process and then you can see her evaluation. Now we can determine quite a few things from this screen. Up here you can see that her program GPA is 2.707. You can determine how many credits she's already taken. We can see the courses over here that she still needs to complete towards her degree. This concludes video one.